Now, as we know, sleep is very, very important. And if you're deprived of sleep, you're not going to be a happy coach. So, because I'm a bit of a dick, Coach Stevens getting a rude awakening. MG. 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 Tuck that eye! MG. Ah! It's in my ear! It's in my ear! You fucker! <laughs> What the sea monkey have in your money? <laughs> oh, I'll pop it in my ear. <laughs> As promised, uh, one of our followers kindly commented on our video about getting abs after 40. Um, and he said, what about sleep? Yeah, what about sleep? And I'm even really glad that you know what? It's a fair good point. Good on you, because we didn't mention sleep. Mm -hmm. And it is actually vital for anybody to get in shape, whether you're above 40, below 40, or exactly 40. <laughs> <laughs> People say, oh, but you can survive on four hours of sleep per night. And that's true, you can. However, we're not talking about surviving here, we're talking about thriving. Ooh, thriving or surviving? And especially when you're training, because when you train hard, particularly the routine that we were describing in that video, you need the muscles to, you need to give them time to rest and recover and sleep. It plays a massive role in that. So this comes down to the subconscious. So if you think about it, if you cut your finger, you don't have to think about healing the finger. It just does it. It's your subconscious that does it. Now, the more you can allow the subconscious to do its job, the more effective it is going to be. Meditation is very good for you because it then allows the subconscious to come through and deal with any sort of problems. And I'm talking about cutting the finger because it's an obvious thing that you can you can monitor. However, you've got to think of damage to muscles, yeah. all the different systems that need to be Sometimes things covered. you can't see, right? Exactly. Um, so we'll, we'll talk more about um, meditation on another video, but if you think about when you're sleeping, it's always that balance. Meditation, you really get into the subconscious, and now the conscious mind is still there, but it's very, very beneficial. Sleep is like the extreme of that, okay? The subconscious can just get, get to town. Go to town, get to town. Go to town, go to or town. Even on healing and recovery because the, the, the conscious mind is completely switched off because nobody remembers sleeping. Yeah. So on a chemical level, uh, one of the main sort of um, hormones that will help repair the body is growth hormone. Now, when you're young, like ch uh, children, young, you know, child, young, <laughs> adolescent, whatever. Ch when you're young, young, your body is is producing lots of growth hormone to, to grow. When you get into uh, adulthood. Yes. 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 Yeah, your body produces less growth hormone. You get to full height, usually what guys go to over 18, 21, yeah. you know, take, and then all the bones and everything fuse, and that's actually at your set height. But every time you go to your bed at night, your body releases anywhere between one and two IUs of growth hormone every night. If you do not get your sleep, your body will not release that ever important hormone, which is there to rejuvenate the skin, the bones, the cells. You know, it's vital that you. You get that into your yeah yeah. Absolutely. Another little trick you can do sleep wise, and the benefits of this, you know, I can't I can't scream about it enough. Is a power nap. And the only way I could describe it is much like um, you ever had issues with your computer and you have to restart and reboot up your your operating system. And so sometimes it takes five to ten minutes. You know, it's like damn it, something's not working. Screen's frozen. Restart. It boots back up and it's good to go again. You know, I've had days where you know you're tired, but you can't really. You don't have enough time for a good proper nap. Yep. Sometimes a ten minute power nap just lets the brain reboot. Gives those ten minutes, as Stephen's mentioned, almost like meditation. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. It just switches the conscious mind off enough that the subconscious can come in, quickly reset a few little systems, uh, and get the brain back in gear. I, and I talk about the benefits, but I actually can't power nap. You know, I've never been able to nap during the day. I just mm. can't do it. But I really love my sleep at night time. Yeah. So, um, if you are serious about being healthy, getting in good shape, getting those abs after 40, then sleep is going to be absolutely essential. One of the things you can do to ensure good sleep, if, say, let's just say you have trouble sleeping. Foods are high in tryptophan. Tryptophan? Yeah, so you get turkey, that's high in tryptophan. 
uh, what else? I think bananas with, I think there's a funny mix of banana and peanut butter. Uh, milk is high in tryptophan as well. There's a, if, you, if you Google tryptophan, or food's high in tryptophan, um, I believe it's a hormone or maybe it's an amino acid. Double check that. And basically, when that's released into the body, it helps you relax, calm down, and you know, if you have trouble sleeping, it will certainly help you along the way. One of my favourite vitamins, or I should say minerals, it's a mineral. Oh, here he goes! Magnesium! <laughs> uh, magnesium is going to be absolutely essential. Make sure you're topping your magnesium levels up constantly, every single day. So you're looking at your green leafy vegetables. If you get plenty of those in, then great, but you have to have them on a daily basis. If you're not getting your green leafies in, there are a few other sources, of course, but you want to be looking at maybe an Epsom salt bath at least once or twice a week. Or, like I do, is just take a magnesium supplement every single day. And I usually go for an hour before bed. I have these little capsules that I take, I take four of those just before bed. And it gives me enough magnesium. I think we're looking at roughly uh, it's about 500 grams of um, magnesium every single night. Helps you recover, helps you sleep. Another nutrient you can look into is a GABA. Ooh, GABA. It's gamma amino butyric acid. Okay. It's a mouthful, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it fires off in the brain. It's op opposite in the brain is glutamine. Okay, now glutamate in the brain excites all the neurons and fires them, so it keeps you alert. GABA is its opposite, it relaxes the system. Now, once upon a time, you used to be able to get GABA readily in the shops, but unfortunately, certain um, individuals abused GABA and various other forms and eventually got banned as a supplement. But you can still get GABA in lots of different um, sources, which we will tell you now. The GABA in the system, which is it's free naturally occurring in the body anyway, uh, but increasing the levels of GABA in your body. Just through different foods? Can you help you relax? There you are. Is that not what uh, the Hulk has? That's GABA. Hulk smash! There we go. And there's also the obvious, um, not the obvious, the move, not obvious, but the obvious kind of little tactics that we can use at bedtime. So you've got to remember that your body is light sensitive. So in nature, you would be living out of sticks, living in trees and caves, whatever. In the morning, when the sun comes up, that sunlight hitting your eyelids actually sends a signal to increase your cortisol levels, and then that then stimulates the liver to um, introduce sugar into your bloodstream. Okay, so that's, that's when you should na naturally wake up. Okay, when the sunlight comes up, everyone wakes up, and you should feel pretty good. At night time, when everybody goes to bed, yeah. The first thing they will do is lie in bed, oh, my phone, I'll just check Facebook, I'll check Instagram, I'll check Twitter, and you've got this phone right in your face with that blue light shining directly into your eyes. That is stimulating your cortisol levels, it's going to send your blood sugar levels high, and you will struggle to sleep. Switch off all electrical devices, dim the lights in your house an hour before bed, at least an hour before bed. If by switching sleep. off, that doesn't mean standby, because there's a background hum. Yes. Your subconscious can hear, and that'll piss it right off, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even TVs, get them off standby, just switch them off at the wall. Never have your phone in the bedroom, just leave your phone in the kitchen that's switched off as well. So, uh, top tips for getting a good night's sleep is increase the sleep inducing um, vitamins and minerals, yep. which we could highlight on the screen right now. Switch off all lights and electrical devices at least an hour before bed, if not two. At least two hours would be ideal. Yep. And we should also mention caffeine because I don't know if it's just a, a European thing or don't, do they have, does it happen in America as well? You go out for dinner and then after your dinner, the, the waiter comes around and says, then Can I get everyone a coffee? Yeah, to help your digestion, I guess. Yeah, you're thinking, It's like 8 o'clock at night. It's 8, 9 o'clock at night. What do I want a coffee yeah. for? That's it, it's perked me up all night. Caffeine is really. stimulant. It's going to keep you awake. Yeah. It's going to stimulate the nervous system to stay alert and on the ball, but then there are huge health benefits to, to caffeine as well, or to coffee in general, um, but as a golden rule, I mean we both like the coffee, uh, but what we're looking at is one coffee a day, sometimes two, always, always, always before 3 p.m., because caffeine will stay in your system for roughly seven hours, so you want to make sure that the caffeine is completely out of your system by the time you go to bed. So hopefully all this information we've given you is been useful? Yeah, yeah, you can take all that information, uh, look at your own sleep, and then make a plan of how you can um, get a better night's sleep. And when you've made that plan, you stick to the damn plan.